This video shows how to transform a matrix into its row echelon form. For an example, we have an augmented 3 by 4 matrix, and we want to transform it into row echelon form. First, we want to look at the first row. Uh, the first row doesn't have any leading zero, so then we're going to assign it as a pivot row. Um, and then we have to look at the leading coefficients of the first row to see if it's 1 or not. If it's not 1, then you have to do an operations that make it 3 here to be 1. So we're going to use the operations by transforming R1, the first row, by taking the first row divided by 3. And then you're achieving to the next equivalent matrix. Now that the leading coefficients of the first row is already 1, then you can use the first row to transform the second row and the third row so that these two values here is going to be 0. So the two operations that we can use is here. In order to transfer row 2, you take row 2 plus 2 row 1, which is the pivot row. In order to transform row 3, you take row 3 minus 2 row 1, which is the pivot row. Remember, you always want to use the pivot row to transform the rest of the row. And your new matrix will give you um, row 2 now is the pivot row because row 1 is already done and you go to row 2 and row 2 only has one leading zero. So then you can assign it as a pivot row. And then again, you want to make sure that the leading coefficients of the pivot row is 1. In this case, you're going to transform row 2 by multiply 3 over 7 to row 2. By doing that operations, the second row becomes the pivot row with the leading coefficient is 1. And then again, you, um, you want to use this pivot row here to transform the third row so that these values here and right under the pivot positions here is going to be 0. So you're going to use another row operations. You want to transform row 3 by taking row 3 plus 7 over 3 row 2, which is the pivot row. And the new matrix after this operations is almost in the row echelon form, except the entries here. So now the third row becomes the pivot row. So then you need to make sure that the leading coefficient is 1, but it's not 1. So we have to do another operations, which is you're going to multiply row 3 by negative 1. And look at our matrix now. All the leading coefficients are 1. And the leading 0 of the second row is greater than the leading 0 of the first row. The leading zeros of the third row is greater than the number of leading 0 of the second row. Thus, we achieve the row echelon form of the original matrix.